Number 8. Rhea Ripley vs. Becky Lynch Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley, two of WWE's most talented female stars one-on-one, -on -one, seems like an all-time great waiting to happen. Unfortunately, we were told that Becky Lynch was feeling under the weather and still pushed through the match. And I believe that for that reason, this match may have not lived up to its full potential as Becky Lynch was dealing with strep throat and a fever as high as 120. But I think the true testament to these women was the fact that they still put on a good match despite the circumstances. As this match was filled with a lot of great counters, as it really felt like both women were trying to one-up the other, even the finish really put over how tough it was for Rhea Ripley to defeat Becky Lynch within the confines of the story, with her giving Becky Lynch the riptide once to the top of the turnbuckle and then a second time to the canvas to score the 1-2-3 via the mommy is always on top pin. Now when it comes to looking back on the matches that both these women have had at Wrestlemania, I felt Becky Lynch's match with Bianca Belair from two years prior and Rhea Ripley's match against Charlotte Flair from the previous year were both better than this match, but both women still deserve a lot of props for giving it their all despite those circumstances of Becky Lynch's condition during this match and Rhea's two hour panic attack beforehand. Shout out to Jason Jordan for getting her confidence in time for the match. Ultimately, Rhea Ripley going over was certainly the right move as it now further enhances a future showdown with the EST as both characters can now claim a victory over one of WWE's top female talents at WrestleMania in Becky Lynch. But certainly, I want to see Rhea and Becky Lynch run it back one day when Becky Lynch is feeling 100% so that we can see what both these ladies are truly capable of in a one-on-one one match against each other.